clear on it. Once again, welcome to Wednesday morning Bible study. Today we will be discussing Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 12 in the New International Version of the Bible. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Amen. 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 So this, Amen. Is, this is a passage we read about, but we, we, we often don't, don't go deep. So what first of all, what words stand out as we as we as we read this passage? First census. Census of, of the entire Roman world. Mm -hmm. Um belonged. Belong. And everyone went to their own town to register. To, to register. And that line of David is important. Mm, expecting. Mm -hmm. Because he belonged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pledged to be married to him. Pledged. First born. with Mary. Mm -hmm. First born. First born. Yeah. Time came for the baby to be born. Amen. Mm -hmm. No guest room available for them. Glory of the Lord. Yes. Shepherds living out in the fields nearby. Mm-hmm. Keep me watch. The Lord, the Lord shone around them. My goodness. Mm -hmm. And they were terrified. And mm -hmm. the up in the first time, uh, entire. That means all to me. All. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Do Great. not be afraid. I bring you good news. Great joy. For all the people. Yes. Yeah. For all the people. A Savior has been born to you. Yeah. Messiah the Lord. Mm. This will be a sign to you. My mm -hmm. goodness, he's so good to us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Who would like to read it a second time? Uh, I'll read it, Pastor. Mm -hmm. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first sentence, sentence, sorry, sorry, <laughs> census that took place while Quirinius Quir was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of, at the, to the house and line of David. Mm. Went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no good, no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news 
that will cause great joy for all the people. Amen. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth. Amen. And Amen. 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 The, uh, so what is this saying to us as we as we analyze? What what does this mean? We we all know this. But um, can I jump in with a question? Yeah. So I know this is Advent season, but I'm still confused. What what is Advent? Well, it's it's preparation. Advent is is really preparing for the birth of Christ. It's waiting, waiting, it's waiting. It's, it's, it's pre- waiting. Yeah, preparing and waiting preparing and waiting okay. for the inevitable. In the okay for the inevitable. And so, so the, so the Advent season starts as a waiting period for the birth of Christ. Am I right? A waiting and, and preparing period, right? You know, so we we you know we don't it doesn't just spring on us and we say, oh well, all right, well Christ is born today, but but to but it's a time of and this is why I remember I said the end of the Christian year and that this is the yeah. beginning of the yeah. Christian year. So so we want to begin to think about not just the birth of Christ, but what does it mean in the context of the Christian year? Okay. Right? So it's, it's, right? So it's important you. to think more than just, hey, this is a great day. Christ is born. Let's share gifts. Be happy. It, it's really, you know, to go inside as well as outside. Well, it's synonymous with the waiting of an expected mother, how she prepares herself and gets ready for the yeah. birth of the child. So it's yeah. synonymous with that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Thank you. But no, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great, great question. And so, so the time of, of kind of reflecting, which is why we have the, the candles, right? Mm-hmm. The, 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 you know, so each one is, you know, the hope and joy and peace and love, you know, to really think about what do those mean as we're preparing for, you know, the birth of our Savior. Amen. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I wanted to say also that. The, um, especially in the first few verses, it shows obedience because even though his wife was pregnant Mm -hmm. with a child, he still traveled. That wasn't an easy travel either, Mm -hmm. you know, walking and trying to keep her comfortable. So it shows a pattern of obedience. Right, right. uh, but, but, But it also, see the contrast between the government and our savior, right? Mm-hmm. The government is trying to control and say, that, "Hey, the census should be taken. You got to go to your own town to register." And realize that the government, you know, the government has no power mm-hmm. over over Christ, mm-hmm. over God. Mm-hmm. And then just think about pledge to be married to him. You know, that motto of, of you know, of of uh, people were connected. They didn't necessarily kind of date, date and get married. There were a lot of laws around marriage. <laughs> a lot of laws around, a lot of laws around marriage. Um, there go man being man. I tell God, man. <laughs> the, uh, mm-hmm. And so, so you know, the the idea of a manger, you know, what what is the symbol? Why is it why is it important that that word manger? Why why is that different? Not you notice that the sign, you know, there are a lot of babies wrapped in clothes, but not a lot of babies lying in a manger. A humble place, humility, exactly, humility. Mm. And I think they were setting the scene for Jesus to be born. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, and all that. They were setting up the scene for him to be born. Mm-hmm. And also setting up the scene that life is not going to be easy. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's not going to be easy. But, but you know, again, it contrasts that government control mm-hmm. versus Christian humility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and even though he was God, he was, you know, he came as a, you know, just an ordinary person. Mm-hmm. 
but there's a power of meekness if you learn yes. the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And what about the shepherds? So there were shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks. Yeah. And the shepherds were terrified. Mm -hmm. And the angel didn't say go to Bethlehem. He said, or she said, uh, go to the town of David. So uh, somehow that has to be communicated the sort of family structure. Where's the town of David? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just, yeah, just, just, you know, kind of think about, you know, what is this, what does this mean? This is the beginning of, of, of Christ, of, of an essence of Christianity. And it starts in humility. Yeah. And wherever he goes, he's not welcome. No, exactly. He's not welcome. That he's shunned. Mm -hmm. And there were all kinds of people living there. They were not like Jews. They have Syrians. They had, uh, you know, Ethiopians. They had different people living there. So, I mean, setting up this scene, meaning that he came for everyone, not right. just, just for only few people he came for everyone for, for everyone there would somebody like to read it one final time i'll read mm -hmm. in those days caesar augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire roman world this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of syria and everyone went to their own town to register so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed them in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in fields nearby, watch, uh, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He mm -hmm. is Messiah, the Lord. Mm -hmm. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Amen. 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 So what's, the, what's our lesson as we prepare for, for Christmas, the birth of, I, of our savior? I, I see this. I, I I look at the first lines and contrast with the last lines. It doesn't right. matter whatever the government has said and whatever you look towards God, God's going to always bring you through because it says here, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. God's always watching them the whole time, even though they were following what the government was telling them to do. God was there still preparing them for what they needed to know. Mm. Amen. 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 And and I think also it's showing us that um um his word was was being fulfilled. Right. Um and that we should be watching and, and waiting just like um in the uh Old Testament he told uh you know sent the prophets out to tell them, you know, uh savior is going to be born like in Isaiah. Uh yesterday that was my Bible verse. Um he told him to tell him, you know, his name will be Emmanuel. And they were asking for a sign. So here he's giving them their sign. And um, just like us now, he's telling us Jesus is coming again. So I think we should be watching and waiting and being ready. Well, well Donna, thank you. So, so look at verse number eight. Are we the shepherds now? And there mm -hmm. were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Ooh, the, the Lord is shining around us. We are the shepherds. Mm -hmm. And Amen. we're terrified, right? We're terrified. Right? right? And and yes, and he's saying again, 
God sends a message somehow to us and here he sends the angel, right? So right. we just have to be faithful, hope that hope, you know, and that that hope of, and not being afraid that mm -hmm. somehow God's going to intervene in some way and send us a message that mm -hmm. guides us. Amen. 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 So as, as we, as we go into Christmas to, to think of ourselves as shepherds, mm -hmm. making disciples of Jesus Christ and not to be afraid, but the good news mm -hmm. that Jesus brings in this time and world of chaos, mm -hmm. of hate, of envy, of, of poverty, mm -hmm. you know, that, that we are, we are shepherds and mm -hmm. we should be hopeful. We so talk about our Savior. We Amen. talk right. Right. Then we're born, right. So you're born into a family. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of leaped out at me. Her firstborn. So yeah. Mary had other children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, you know, God, um, God sent Jesus to a family. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and, and that's what he spent his life developing. That's us, good, as, Stefan. As a family. That's good. As a family, exactly. Exactly. That's good. Exactly. The uh, um, what else? So this, this. So it, again, as we go, do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. So as we are, and, and we need to reflect on ourselves. Are we afraid as this season? Mm. Right. So we're getting good news that caused yeah. great joy for all people. So let's that that you know to me that that stands out, right? Mm -hmm. As we go to the season. I think I think also that you know even though people are going around shopping and everything it shows that you know it's festive you know mm -hmm. it's that bad it's you know it's it's something that people are enjoying and you know so shopping and walking around and busy and see cars it shows that his birth was not it, it's good it's a good thing you know right. Right. together eating and mm -hmm. uh, you haven't seen for a while you know so it's it's all good it's good news Yes, it is. But 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 great joy. Great. So that message is ready or not, Jesus is coming. Yeah. He's coming. Amen. 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 Good news for all people, all of us. Good news for everyone. Amen. Well, amen. I think for me, I I just reflecting. I think it's just you know reminding us the reason for the season. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. The reason for the season because we shouldn't be terrified, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, just not not consuming so much of the consumerism mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that that the government and, and society is pushing on us, right? To Amen. really just remember True. the reasons for the season. The reason. Amen. The Amen. 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 So that's the final word. The re remember the reason for the season. Amen.